all and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, you are going to see my very first ever cut crease. I've never done one before. I think it came out beautiful. Yeah, I don't wanna hold you. If you have any questions, like I said, comment below. If not, I will see y'all next Sunday. Thanks for watching my video. I definitely appreciate it. And let's just hop right on it. I have my brows done already, so we can hop right into our look. This video I am very nervous about because I've never actually done a cut crease. The very first thing I'm going to do, of course I'm gonna do eyes first, is I'm going to prime my lids. What I'm using is the is this. It's an Ulta, there we go, Ulta Matte Primer and blend it out. I don't care how many times I put something on my lid, it ends up all over the place, like, and where is my brush to just blend this in? I'm gonna wait a few minutes for it to set. And then we're going to get right into our eye look. Did you guys know that Dunkin' Donuts, I dare say that, that name on my channel because I only go to Starbucks. But did y'all know that Dunkin' Donuts has a drink? with monster energy drink and then some type of flavoring. It's like a blueberry flavoring or a strawberry flavoring. I did not know. This is an amazing drink. After you let the ice melt some, because at first it's kind of sweet, we're not gonna tell um, Starbucks, which is my main chick, that I now have a side chick, but I do go to Dunkin' Donuts for this drink because it is everything when you are tired. The first shade I'm going into is this one. Saddle from MAC. Y'all remember, if you remember a few years ago, Saddle was like everything to everybody. And I just ran across it in my makeup collection. And I was like, hey, like I haven't seen you in forever. But this is my transition shade today. So it's going everywhere. So the palette I'm using is um, is something else that came in the Ulta, the little gift set that I received, and it's just Ulta, an Ulta Beauty palette. And I am going to grab the shade Rush Hour, which is this dark chocolatey shade here, and that is also going um, on my eye area, my crease. Okay, so now for the cut crease part. I am using my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade Honey to cut my crease, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to dab that on my lid and look up. And that line, see it? That's where we cut. So I'm gonna put some of it on the back of my hand, grab me a flat shader brush, and cut my crease out. Set it, I'm going to use, and on top of it, I'm going to use with a light shade. Right. 
on the brush. And I'm gonna pick up City Lights and try and pat that on. Now I'm going to just blend that um, color rush hour into city lights. So it looks like they fade into each other. I'm just gonna use that to blend out, blend over where I cut the crease. I'm not adding more product. I just don't want it to be really hard looking. And y'all, we did it. I got my grease. <laughs> all right. Now we have to do it all over again. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. My first cut crease. Now, I'm going to add some eyeliner, of course. I'm going to use the Kat Von D. It's dagger tattoo liner to do a wing. And I'm not doing a dramatic, dramatic wing. I'm really doing just a simple one. For lashes, I am using the Nice Knee XO and Co lashes in the shade, in the shade, in the style Polar Girl. Let me just open. Her packaging is so cute, y'all. She is um, local to me. She sells, she sells local. If you're interested in the lashes, um, let me know below because she doesn't have a website, I don't think, but she will definitely reach out to you. The packaging is very simple, but it's very cute. At the end of the day, if you think about it, we get these pretty boxes with lashes in them, and what, ooh, and what do we do? We throw them in the trash. So this is very simple. I really like it, and these are what the lashes look like. Definitely more dramatic as far as I go, but with this look, I think it deserves them. This is one of the things that I received in as a sample and it was three different primers. So I've already used the Smooth and Protect, the Radiance Primer. The very last one I have in the packaging is the Pore and Shine Control. I don't really have an issue with shine on my face, but this is the last primer I have. So this is the last one of the NARS. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it up. I'm going in with my NARS um, Soft Matte Foundation. Now I bought two NARS um, concealers, soft matte concealers. I bought the shade Amande and then I bought the shade Chestnut. So we're gonna use the shade Chestnut today. I'm just gonna use this brush to apply it. The thing with this concealer is you don't need a lot. So remember that when applying it.
Of course, y'all know to set these areas, I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade Honey. To contour, I'm using my same contour that I use basically all the time, my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. That's what we're contouring with. Okay. Something different today to set my contour, I am using the Hula Beauty in the shade Toasted. This was my go-to prior to Laura Mercier. So I'm using my Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. And I'm in this, I have this shade Translucent Medium. And that's what I'm going to just put right here to kind of carve out my cheeks a little more. face Urban Decay All Nighter Y'all know we're going to press that in I'm going to go and set my brows with the NYX um tinted brow mascara in the shade Miss X Espresso. I've learned that it's better to just wait until I'm done to set than to do it before because I always have to go back in and set them again. For blush, we're going to use the NARS um, blush in the shade Orgasm. I received this as a sample. I've never used it, but that's what that shade looks like. This is my minted um, bronzer palette, but I'm using that highlight shade there. And this is the minted by Ashley Blaine in the shade Deep. Though I don't have a shade for it, I'm using that exact same brush. I'm gonna pick up some of that highlighter and it on. This is a very faint, fair highlight. Like, I'm not trying to be boastful, but for this look, I am allowing the eyes to like be the star of this show. And I just have this Real Techniques fluffy type brush to kind of like blend everything together. This definitely ensures no harsh lines or anything, so it is a necessary step for me. Now it seems to be the star of the show today. This is called Dragon Girl.
Okay guys, I'm back and this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Let me know what you think about the look below if you have time. If not, a thumbs up would definitely be appreciated. Until next time, bye.